There are no spots. <gasps> Wait, there's a spot? It's disabled, I don't care. You can't park here unless you're actually disabled. Judging from the disabled sign in your car, you want my spot, right? Yes, because right now I'm temporarily disabled and I can't walk. You know what? You're probably faking it like everyone else. Goodbye. Well, she's not going to move and I am not going to move either. What? Oh, how the hell am I going to get out of here now? God, this is so frustrating. There are no spots. There's never any space here. This is crazy. It's just... <gasps> Wait, there's a spot? Oh, it's disabled. I don't care. Let me just park here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Voila! <sighs> Hold on. Hello, excuse me. Yes? I couldn't help but notice that you don't have a handicap permit on your car. Okay, and? Well, you can't actually park here unless you have a disabled permit. And who are you to tell me where to park? I'll park wherever I please. <laughs> All right, lady, like I said, you can't park here unless you're actually disabled. Oh, I get it. Judging from the disabled sign in your car, you want my spot, right? Um, yes, because right now I'm temporarily disabled and I can't walk. Temporarily disabled. Sure you are. <laughs> you know what? You're probably faking it like everyone else. Oh my lord, lady, I am not faking it. Listen, look, I sprained my ankle. Okay, you can see, take a look. That's pathetic. You just wrapped your foot in gauze. You know anyone can do that. You're perfectly fine. Then how do you explain the disabled permit? <laughs> Well, that's probably fake too, like everything else about you. Lady, listen, I'm not faking. Are you gonna move your car or what? No, I'm not. Goodbye. Fine. Well, she's not gonna move, and I am not gonna move either. What? Oh, how the hell am I going to get out of here now? Oh, jerk. Oh. Who Hi. the hell do you think you are? Oh, it's you again. Oh my God, what's going on, lady? What's going on? You know perfectly well what's going on. You blocked my car. I've been waiting here over an hour for you. Lady, listen, you need to calm down. First of all, none of this would have happened if you didn't park here in the first place. Just get your stupid car out of here, lady. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to calm down, okay? Just get out of here, loser. Loser? Listen. I'm not going anywhere until you apologize to me. Apologize? Are you delirious? Listen, lady, if you don't apologize, I'm going to call the police. Yeah, well, I'm never going to apologize to you people. You people? Oh, okay, that's it. Hello? Mango Park Police Department? Yes, I would like to report a lady who is illegally parked at the mall and is here yelling at me. Because you blocked me in, that's why. Can you please send someone over? Oh, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Okay, 
Well, they are on their way and you can't see. I didn't warn you. <laughs> Good. At least I can finally get my car out of here. Now, who do you think they're going to believe, me or you? You know, I know everybody on the police force. Well, good for you. That's right. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello, officer. Hi, officer. See, I recognize you from somewhere. Yeah, I've met you several times at the annual fundraising events for the police. I'm one of your main sponsors. Oh, well, thank you so much for your support. You're welcome. We received a call from one of you about a handicapped parking spot incident. Is that correct? Yes, officer. I'm the one that called. Okay, may I see some ID for both of you? Sure. Okay, okay. Donna, let's start with you. Tell me what happened. So about an hour ago, I showed up here and there was barely any parking spaces, right? That's when I noticed that she parked in a handicapped spot, but she didn't have a permit. So I pulled up and I politely asked her to move her car. And then she got all rude and disrespectful. So I decided to park right here because I need it because I'm on crutches and I can barely walk. But that is when she started insulting me and being all rude and disrespectful. So I decided to park right here and go shopping. Okay. Um, you said she was insulting you? What was she telling you? She was insulting me. She was telling me that my injury was fake, that my permit was fake, I was fake, everything about me was fake. Is that true, Gertrude? Well, I mean, look at her. Would you believe anything she said? Yes, as a matter of fact, I would. Why wouldn't I? Now, Donna, this is your car? Yes, sir, this is my car. Why did you decide to park it here? I mean, why didn't you go somewhere else to park? And not waste everyone's time. Officer, when I first got here, like I said, the parking lot was pretty much full. And all the available spaces were really far. And I just got these crutches, and I really don't know how to use them as yet. And so I know, I know it was wrong, and I know I shouldn't have parked here, but she was so disrespectful and inconsiderate. At the moment, I felt justified. Okay, but you know, you, you're blocking her in. You can't do that. I know, officer, and I'm sorry. So, now, Gertrude, tell me your side of the story. What happened? Oh, with pleasure. So, I came to the parking lot. I was driving around. There weren't any spots available, just this one. So, I decided to park here, and then this hood rat drives up and starts confronting me. Hood rat? I would like to keep this conversation civil and respectful, okay? Yeah, okay, of course. Anyway, she comes up and she starts confronting me and then she starts yelling at me. Yelling at you? Mm -hmm. I did not yell at you. I yes, was not you yelling did. at you. you what did. was she yelling at you? Oh, all sorts of nonsense. First of all, lady, I was not yelling at you. Yes, you did. Listen, you're the only one that was yelling and being disrespectful, and you know it. Well, I guess it's just your word against mine, right? Well, I, let me be honest, Gertrude. After witnessing all these insults and harassment today, I have to say I believe her more than you. What? How dare you not believe me, officer? Well, let's just look at the facts, shall we? Now, Gertrude, you parked here illegally. You parked here because you felt justified, entitled to God knows what. But when you took this spot, you took this spot from somebody else who really needed it, like Donna. Now, Donna, you also parked here illegally, but considering, considering your handicapped status and, and um, you can barely get around with those crutches, I have to say I'm gonna side with you on this. Oh, officer, thank you so much for understanding. What? You can't do this. I'm a friend of the force. Every year I give you guys money. Thank you for your support, but your support does not justify breaking the law or harassing and insult the people around you. You're going to regret this, Sergeant. Excuse me? Is that a threat, Gertrude Sinclair? Oh, it's not a threat. It's a promise. 
turn around. Mrs. Sinclair, you are under arrest. What? No, you can't do that. You are under arrest for harassment, disturbing the peace, and threatening a police officer. Plus, I'm adding a $500 fine for illegally parking in a handicapped spot. You can't do this to me. I am a friend of the force. You can't do this, and I can't go to jail. You have the right to remain silent. I highly suggest you exercise that right. The audacity. Look, I can't go to jail. I'll tell that to the judge Monday morning. <laughs> Monday? Today's Friday. I can't spend the weekend in jail. I have events to go to. Sorry, you're going to have to miss those. Now, Donna, yes, I'm sir. sorry you had to put up with all this today, but enjoy the rest of your day. Officer, thank you, and thank you for all your help. Gertrude, let's go. No, no, listen, please. Uh, an ice cream sundae with whipped cream and a cherry on top? I'm diabetic. How about pizza? I'm a vegan. Oh, Come on. no. I can't do this. No, please, please, please don't.